all that nailed down. And uh, yeah, I'll look forward to your email. Thank you, you too. Oh, big fish on. Are you on? I'm on, John. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, 10B Edits. Today, we've got a special video. I'm down here on the Fox River, and as you can tell, probably by the background, you can see there's a ton of boats already down here. Uh, we are up by the dam currently, and no, I'm not gonna be fishing out of a boat today. Check this out. Breaking the old kayak out today. First time of the year, I'm gonna be using my kayak. This is a new canoe Frontier 12. Now, if I pan to my left, you can see there's another kayak here, which is fully rigged, and you're probably wondering whose kayak is that? Oh, the man, the myth, John Lehman from Mindac Outdoors. What's up, boys? How is it going? It's going good. I made the send over here to Wisconsin to do some open water fishing, and uh, what better person to do it with than the man, the myth, the legend, oh, Nikki wow. Boo Gosling. Wow, you are so nice. So. Me and John, we're down here. We are at the dam on the Fox River, like I was saying. And we decided to take the yaks out. And uh, we're just, we're gonna full send it for some walleyes. Not sure, you know, how this is gonna go. I know last time we did go out here, uh, the fishing was kind of slow. Um, we did a little bit of fishing up by the dam and caught a few walleyes, then went down river, caught a few walleyes also. But since then, had a couple 60 degree days, some rain. And judging on how many boats are there, I mean, they got to be catching something. So we're going to finish getting everything ready. We're going to head on out there and we're going to see if we can make some magic happen. What up, guys? Welcome back to another one. We're going to do some kayak fishing on the Fox River. All right. I think I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Well. We're all situated and we are ready to launch the yaks. As you can tell, the front, um, I got this nice little uh, holder here. Um, there's supposed to be something there to like pull, but it's it's not there. So that's awesome. We're gonna see how this goes. You ready? Oh yeah. All right. Oh my God, this, oh, this is thing's, so heavy. This thing's heavy. How do you think I should do this? Just drop her in? Do you think we should just... Should you get in? Should you get in and I push you out? Like a slide? Is that a good idea? I don't think so. I don't think that's a good okay, idea. Okay, I'm just gonna like gently do one of these things. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, that was a lot oh. Wow, what would I do without you? I just, <laughs> I just fall in right there. All right. Oh yeah, we're good. Alright, we got Nick in the water. You're killing it. <sighs> John's pretty cool. He has a trolling motor. As you can tell, um, I don't have a trolling motor. I got just my good old paddle and some arm strength. Luckily, it's not that windy out today, except for it is. Oh, we made it out on the main stretch of the river now. We're absolutely just sending her. John! has a nice Minn Kota with spot lock and all that dandy stuff on his yak. And here I am just freaking getting the biggest arm workout of my life. That's true. Oh God. Water is definitely a lot dirtier this time around than the last time. So we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to probably go somewhere down river where like all these other boats are. Nope, but I'm trying to go places. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh God, we love it. Well, eventually we'll get to a spot and eventually we'll cast. Well, finally got the anchor in. I started up here by John and uh, currently I made it back here, but I finally hit something and I'm stuck on the bottom. So that's good. Got the rod out using the PC Fun 2000 series and then my Freedom Rod 7 foot 3 medium light. What I'm using today for bait is minnows, but I'm gonna be running a 3 8 ounce Northland Tackle eyeball jig. This is uh, the chartreuse. If any of you have not fished the Fox River, green is definitely a pretty good ticket down here. Um, and we're just gonna be using minnows because it is early still. So fish are not gonna be like super aggressive. We're gonna try this to start. I'm just glad that I can finally like be stuck. The wind is absolutely brutal out here today. And 
we're going to we're going to be giving it our first cast here and uh, see see what's going on. All right, guys, midday update here. Uh, currently walking in the woods to a dam um, that's not the Fox River because. Well, you could probably tell by the footage that it was windy and wind and kayaks just like don't mix very well. Uh, so John and I fished for about an hour. Didn't catch, actually didn't even get a bite. So that was kind of a botch. <laughs> I caught a net. He caught a net, so that's pretty cool. So we decided to pack it up. We sent it all the way back to my place. And now we're fishing a local dam that I usually hit up early spring. And you can tell, we got the waders on. We're all rigged up, ready to go. And uh, yeah, we're just basically on a grind here, looking to catch one walleye. So we're gonna walk on down, try to find a spot and see if we can make it happen. Alrighty guys, so made it down to the water. The strat basically here is, we're gonna be casting her out. We are walking and John's pretty cool, so he uh, has a lot of fans, and one of his subscribers was down here and noticed John and said, hey, come fish here, and we came down here, and he's clapping walleyes. So he gave us the strat, gave us the spot. Now, all that's left to do is get some walleyes. But we still, <laughs> but we still so haven't done happen. that. But basically, we're just... Uh, using like a three-way rig with the weight on the bottom and then a single hook with a minnow. Cast it out as far as you can, let it sit, and uh, wait for that bite. As soon as you see the bite, pick up the rod, set the hook, and fight the fish. So, hopefully, we can make something happen. Thank you, you too. Oh, big fish on. Are you on? I'm on, John. Jeez, I'm over here making calls, and he's, he's a here He's a business, business guy. <laughs> big How's business it feeling, guy. Though? It feels like a small 14 and a half inch walleye. Well, it's an open water fish. That's cool. That is cool. We're just glad to be out here, man. Look at that. There you go. Good one. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Here, you want to? Yes, there? please, Dad. Yep. Even kept the minnow. Jeez, not a giant by any means, but it is early. I mean, today's date is what March 12th, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is the earliest I've ever fished this dam before. So, I mean, this is just fun getting down here and catching fish. I mean, it is beautiful weather. It's crazy the difference from going from the pier in kayaks with freaking two hurricane footers katrina hurricane wins. katrina out there and then we come down here it's freaking gorgeous it's sunny no clouds in the sky and we're catching walleyes locally that's just crazy all right well thank you john for doing that i'm gonna get this bad boy back out there we're hoping once the sun starts to go down these walleyes uh are gonna be moving in hot and heavy here and hopefully just start clapping them like every so often right now we're kind of getting a bite like every 15 20 minutes but uh yeah we'll see when the sun goes down what what happens are you on wait what you're on aren't you yeah i'm on it actually doesn't feel bad seriously yeah wait what well, I, I, wait why do i have a fish i'm just kidding i have a fish <laughs> i was literally reeling in to check my line that yeah it's probably it's girthy, though. yeah Kind of like a girthy one. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fish. Feels, yeah. feels better than the other one. You recording? I am. That's oh, first. <laughs> I know. Feels better. Did you like see any bites or you just randomly pick up your rod? No, I saw a couple bites. Oh, yeah. She digging? She's digging. Mean head shakes. Might be a keeper. I'm pretty sure it is. Probably not though. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well it's not much bigger than that last one. Well, the last one was pretty small. 
set my rod down here. We'll give her the old bump, but I'm pretty sure it's like a solid 14, which is very common down here. 14 and a half. We love that. Pretty much gonna be like your typical size down here, but with it being pre-spawn, you do uh you do have a chance at a bigger fish. Seems like once the water gets warmer down here in this area, it uh starts to bring in a lot of those smaller males, which is so common on the Wisconsin River. But we're catching fish, it's early, we're having a ball, it's nice weather, and uh yeah, we still we still got some time, so get another minnow and see if we can get another. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, they knew it. <laughs> they knew. Another fish. It was about that same 13, 14. Let me get ready to land her. Yeah, yeah. Net uh, job, please. Uh, Net uh, job. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go forearm in for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a beautiful specimen, Nicholas. Pretty much cookie cutter to the other one. It's not bad though. No. I mean, like I was saying, this is definitely the average down here. And uh, like I said a million times so far, we're just happy to be catching fish. And uh, I mean, it's early, but this is great. John, what do you think of the Wisconsin scent so far? Dude, I'm having a great time here in the panhandle of, uh, you know, the walleye central. And I'm having a great time with my guide, Nicholas. He's doing a great job putting me on a lot of fish. We're trying, we're yeah, trying. We're trying. So it's going good. Don't think I ever showed you guys what I'm actually rocking with. But uh, so the rig is not set up ideally because um, I don't have any supplies <laughs> for this type of fishing. I just have a bunch of jigs. But um, I have a couple of half ounce drop shot that I just freaking tied onto my line. I'm using 15 pound braid to uh, only an eight pound fluorocarbon leader, so a little light. And then I got about a foot and a half liter from my weights so this would sit on the bottom and then i got a single octopus hook a red uh i'm pretty sure this is by vmc Hello. not that that really matters with just a fat head and basically this would sit on the bottom this flows in the water because there's a bunch of current and uh, we're just waiting for the bite see the tap set the hook catch the fish so that is what we are working with i'm going to rehook this who are you talking to john I think I've caught, I've caught probably, oh, Brandon's on the phone. Oh, sick. Hey, you guys say hi Brandon. to the vlog, Brandon. Brandon's not fishing with us, but he's currently. Hello. Say something. Hello. Say something again. What's up, boys? God. He's so cool. He had to work today. Uh, and here John and I are out here just sending it. We're going to try for a couple more fish here. Set her back down. It hasn't been hot and heavy, but we have been getting it done. This is John's. Uh, this is John's 15-inch uh, female that he got. We're gonna be taking that one home. Probably didn't see it unless you watched that guy's videos. But people are getting them. I mean, we got a whole shoreline of people, but this is this is great. So we're gonna see if we can uh, pick a few more off here. Well, guys, sun has now just hit the top of the trees. We have not had a fish for probably a good solid. Uh, easily half an hour maybe even 45 minutes here kind of seems like it is slowing down versus picking up which is the complete opposite of what we thought was going on so thought i figured pick up the camera say we're probably going to be leaving soon um maybe catch one or two more fish hopefully but basically just wanted to fill you guys in i know i showed that john is here in wisconsin and um is fishing with me obviously uh, but he's going to be staying not just today, so he will be in quite a few videos. We have a lot of big plans starting tomorrow. Well, it started today. Technically. Well, it started today, but it was idiot. it was a fail at the Fox. We thought we were like going to just go slam some walleyes down there, but that ended up failing. So we came here, caught some, which was great. Uh, but yeah, so basically starting today for the next, what, 12 days? So, uh... Well, I'm gonna do counting right here with my hands. Please don't make fun of me. What's today? What is the date today? Friday, the 12th. 12th? So, I'm gonna stay here for nine more days, and then I'm leaving, and then I'm coming back for another like five or six days. 
Big Walla guy. Yeah, so he's staying at my house for the meantime. I think he might go up to Brandon's house also because uh, with the nice weather, they are going to be doing some camping. They're going to be hitting a bunch of the local dams around here. So what you guys can expect for like the next couple of weeks for content wise, we are going to be having a lot of walleye fishing, obviously, but uh, we're fishing local dams around here. We got Green Bay and we have the Fox River. So expect a lot of great things. Camping videos will also be coming. Like I said, just want to pick up the camera, give you guys an update. We are still out here trying to catch a few more fish and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Come on. Oh God, yeah. Well, made her back home. I know I said that I was going to film probably a couple more walleyes. That ended up not happening. So, packed up, decided to head her back home. We had a decent day. I mean, the start of it was a little brutal. I mean, I had high hopes going into the pier that we were going to clap some walleyes up by the dam and it's just incredibly windy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video getting on top of some early spring walleyes. I can't even believe it's this time of the year already. I feel like we were just ice fishing and now all of a sudden the walleyes are up by the dams. They're just starting to eat and I can't be more happy. Super pumped that John is staying here for the next freaking forever. Oh, so yeah, I got a fishing buddy actually who lives in Wassa that can go fishing with me. So expect a ton of walleye content. And like I said earlier, we are gonna be doing some camping, some cooking, some fishing, some who knows what's gonna come in the next Cuddling. couple of weeks. Cuddling, cuddling is gonna be coming real soon, but expect a ton of content guys. I'm super stoked to be uploading videos again. I know we took a month long break and uh, feels really good to be back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. Make sure you guys are subscribed because if you like walleye content or really any type of fishing content, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because that's literally all we freaking do, especially if you're from the local area of anywhere central or northern Wisconsin, we will cover it. So until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits.